I would point out one potential problem with Justice Scalia's argument. There is something in the Constitution called the Necessary and Proper Clause. Congress is given the task of dealing with certain issues such as interstate commerce. Congress is authorized to regulate interstate commerce. Congress is also given the authority to pass legislation that is necessary and proper to carry out those tasks. At first glance, it might seem that this gives a very, very wide range of powers to the federal government. I've had, I asked a legal scholar about this and he said that no, that's actually not correct. In the context in which the Constitution was written, necessary and proper had a very distinct meaning and it was a very narrow meaning. As this scholar put it, there were a range of different terms they can use and they seem to have deliberately chosen the one that most restricted the scope of what Congress could do. But at this point, we are getting beyond the limits of my knowledge of constitutional law.